Oakley Doakley. Uh, we have a night. Uh, no, sorry, Minolta. Um, this is the uh, 58 millimeter 1.4, uh, the PF uh, MC. It's older lens. This thing is built like a tank, but their big problem was the aperture will stick wide open. Um, and so we are going to unstick it. It is not as easy as Nikon's lenses, which I love, but this is still doable. Um, basically, take your spanner, you'll see there's two little tiny notches on the nameplate. You want to undo those. I leave a cap on the rear so I can just spin it. And then down. Let's see if we get it. There it goes. Um, now, um, you want to take out the front element, but you want to make sure don't touch the elements because if you don't touch them, you don't have to clean them. Basically, you have an inner ring and an outer ring. You don't even have to take, you don't have to touch the optics, we're going to take the whole assembly out. You go for the outer ring, it might be a bit tight. There it goes. So I actually pinch my spanner in. When it comes out I can pull it out with the spanner. There she is. So if you don't touch this, you don't have to clean it. Just set that there. Now there's a lot of tear down in this, um, but it's pretty easy. Um, basically, you're you're gonna you gotta take the app, um, the filter ring off. So there's three screws. That'll lift out. Yuck. Yeah, so the oil is coming from the the, the focus ring. It's um, leaking uh, up and around. I don't know if the if they had their lens upside down. Why well, you're still recording? Yeah. Or or it just leaked. It'll just crawl everywhere, but it's gone up in. Um, yeah, so now there's there's four screws. We've got to take those off. While I do this, I'm going to promo myself. If you guys haven't checked it out, go to Canon, C-A-N-N-O-N. FastReviews.com. There's more videos, and uh, I'm just kind of—I don't know what I'm doing with this site. I'm just kind of reviewing and comparing lenses, and just doing all that fun stuff. Um, so now this ring will just lift out, and it pulls the whole assembly out with it, and there's the oil. So it was hanging up a bit. It was stuck. Yeah, there. So, just focus that down. Now what we use is rubbing alcohol. I use 70%. Um, and, we're just gonna, we gotta end that from continuing to happen, right? So it's all coming out of here. Time for a new Q-tip. Yeah. Yummy. So what I'll end up doing is swabbing as much as I can. I won't do it right now just so I can keep going on the video. 
Um, but you can see it all. It's, I don't know if you can see it. It, sh it looks shiny, but it's all crawled in. So um, now, this is extremely, extremely, extremely important. Uh, before you tear anything down, you have to mark your stuff. I simply gouge it with a screwdriver. Ah! Um, but basically, you want to make sure you mark. Um, um, you want to mark it so that um, because you have to. This top plate determines where the aperture actually closes down to. Yeah, see, it's get it to go a little bit, but yeah, it's sticking a bit. But um, basically, you're gonna you're going to um, uh, just scratch it in here. Um, so I don't know how to explain this, but basically the, this one plate, you're going to want to put a mark there and then skip that ring. This ring is going to come up and then this up here. You're going to want to, so you want to scratch here and here so they line up because you got to line up this with this. And you know, there's, there's a circle here. Maybe you can use that as a marker, but you still need to indicate which one because there's two of them. And then, and then here as well. So, um, so let's say... If you, were to, if you were to scratch here, you scratch there and scratch there. Just two little lines um, just to indicate because all this has to be put back exactly proper so you're getting stopped down to F16 properly. Um, yeah. So now. Uh, this is a little bit annoying. You got these little tiny side screws. There's oil everywhere. Um, you got these little tiny side screws. You want to take them out, and you, sadly, you do have to take them out all the way. Um, just try not to lose them. They bounce everywhere, and they're really fun. <laughs> like that. Something you can note. Well, here I'll show that in a bit. So now that silver ring, that is basically a retainer. It pushes down um, even for holding the aperture plate or the iris plate down. Um, so we lift that out and now now, and you can actually see there's little little marks from where the old um, screws were. I, I sometimes try and line them back up just for the sake of, um, yuck. Um, so now, basically all you're gonna do is flip it over and tap it out. And so, when the blades go back in, they're going to be they're going to be stacked on on this plate that we just took out, and they're going to be they're going to be um, pointing counterclockwise. But you're going to stack them clockwise, and then we're going to slip the last one under. I'll show you how to do that. Um, I'm just going to take this apart and clean it all out. Um, basically, all I'm going to do is take a uh, Q-tip, wipe down all the blades, wipe everything anywhere you see oil, wipe it down, use another end, clean it, dry it, make sure there's no oil. Another thing to note is under this lip, you can see there's oil under that lip. That will feed up through screw holes and everything. Yeah, it's that maybe that's where it all came from. But basically, you gotta you got to look for oil anywhere and get rid of it. Th this lens is absolutely incredibly built but it just it's got so many places oil can go through so yeah we're just gonna wipe down all the blades dry them off and then um, and then I'll show you how to put her all back together I just is there anything else I need to show you first I don't think so don't lick the elements if you don't lick them you don't have to clean them um, yeah I think we'll go from there I'll just quickly clean this out 
And then, um, oh yeah, one other thing is, when you're finished cleaning with the alcohol and all the oil is all over your hands, make sure you wash your hands with soap and water or else you will track it everywhere. So I always clean my hands um, before I uh, put the lens back together. I'll stop this and then come back.